Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah amma ba'd Let's do this so we don't have another week yet brother inside uh, the ma'ir Right? <laughs> We've had two or three weeks already inside the ma'ir The ma'ir We had three types. We had Mu'tasal, or we had Munfasal, and Munfasal was what? You remember? Detached. Al Munfasal was detached. Now, Al Mu'tasal. Uh, no, and now we have Al Mustatir. Right? Munfasal had two types. Right? Those which were Marfu, because they were a subject, and those which were Al Mansub. Al Marfu is examples Hua, Huma, Hum, Hia, Huma, Hunna, Enta, right? So on and so forth. Right? Mansub was Iyahu. Iyaha Right Iyaka Iyaya Like this Right These were mensu Meaning Marfu They're going to come as a subject Hua Muhandis He is an engineer Right Humma Mudarrisan Them two are teachers Right Enta The key You are Smart, right? Like this. When they're mensub, they're going to come as the object, such as in wa iyaka after jazaka lo khairan, right? Wa jazaka lo khairan. You say jazaka la, may Allah reward you with good khairan, right? You say wa iyaka, and may you. May he reward you, meaning, and may you be the object of the reward, right, as well. Just like jazaka wa iyaka. And the same thing, iyaka na'budu. We could say na'buduka. We could say we worship you. Or we could say iyaka na'budu. You, we worship, right? And then the alone is understood. So this is when it is a object of the verb. When it's mensu, right? And it could be when something has two mafuls, such as, such as, ah, tay tu ka iya, ah, tay tu ka, ah, tay tu ka. I gave you it. I can't say I take to Kahua. No, that's wrong. I take to Kahiyahu. That's the. So, this allows you to have the it there. This Iya. Right? So, that's what we had when it came to Al Munfasal. Then we have Al Muttasal, which is. It can be connected to it can be connected to a verb. Right? Such as in I take two cup, I gave you, right? Not buduka, I we worship you. It can be connected to a when it's connected to a when it's connected to a verb, it's the method on B. Right? Right? When it's connected to a noun, an ism, 
can be connected to a noun, such as beituka, right? Beituka, uh, kitabuka, kitabi, right? Rasuluhu, like this. All of that, right? Connected to a noun, it's majoror. Mudaf ilay. Right? Mudaf ilay. Majoror. And when it's connected to a harf, it's majoror after the harf. Harf, it's majoror, right? Harf, majoror. That's what we went over. So it could be minka, laka, bihi, right? Alaikum, right? That's when these, uh, the mir muttasal are connected to the harf. Alaikum, lakum. Laka, bihi, uh, minhu, all that, right? Now we're on mustatir. Now we're on mustatir. Let's read our chapter. Al amthila. Al jamala. Al jamalu baraka. Baraka is a way. That a, that a, a jamal, jamal is a camel, is the way that a camel sits. Right? Baraka is, a, is what you call when the camel sits. Right? That's just the verb of him sitting. Baraka. Like the word, uh, Baraka Allahu Feek. Like this, right? So when someone says to you, Mabruk, if you hear that ever, it's become acceptable because that's what everyone says mabruk just like i don't know if there's an english word i can think of like the word ain't 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 a word that's what we used to hear when we were little right now ain't is in the dictionary so it's a word right so now they can't say that anymore but ain't is not proper it's not really a word right mabruk does not mean Mabruk does not mean congratulations or you know your may Allah bless you. Mabruk means it's how it's the description of how a camel sits. What a person should tell you is Mubarak. Right? If they want to give you these congratulations. Mubarak. Mabruk, which you will see in here, means the description of how the camel sits. So that's baraka, right? Al Jamalu Baraka, the camel sat. Al Hamama Gharradat. Al Hamama is a pigeon. Right? Al Hamama is a pigeon. Gharradat. This is it tweets. Right? It tweets. And the same word is used for Twitter, right? Twitter. Twitter. When you send out a when you send out a tweet, it's called a taqreed, right? A taqreed. You've this is what you've done. You've tweeted, right? Taqreed. That's what your note is called. So some books, for instance, gather up beneficial tweets that maybe scholars send out in a certain subject. So they're called Tagridat Fulan. You see what I'm saying? So and so. Tagridat so and so. Like a collection of his tweets. Right? So the Hamama Gharadat. Uridu and Tajtahida. I want that you put in effort. Uridu, I want and that. Tajtahida, that you put in effort. I want you to work hard. Innana nuhibbu najahaka. Innana, verily we, nuhibbu, we love, najahaka. Basically, your success. We love that you succeed. Or we love your success. Number five. Al-Kalbu yanbah. 
Al Kelb is a dog. Yenbah it barks. It's the verb. Yenbahu. Right? The dog. Who? Al Al Bentu Tuhsinu at Tabakh. Al Bent, the girl. Tuhsin, she does well, she excels at at Tabakh. Cooking. Right? Adhim al Kabir. Adhim al Kabir. Adhim meaning to treat to treat with respect, to to honor, to to magnify, to make him big, right? Meaning to do the do the older person, al Kabir, the older person and do this. Have this honor, respect for him. Nadhif Hidaaka. Nadhif Hidaaka. Right? Clean. Nadhif. Nadhafa you nadhifu tanzif. Clean. Hidaaka. Your shoes. Right? Clean your shoes. Okay. So we have here Baraka Gharadat Uridu. Nuhib Tajtahid Yenbah Adhim Nadhif Right and Tuhsin. These are all our verbs here. Right? These are all our verbs. Now let's go and read the bath and the rules. And then we'll come back and look at them one more time after we do that. He says Al Bath. Ida sa'alaka sa'il. If a questioner asks you, قائلاً, saying, أين الفاعل لكل فعل من أفعال? Where is the فاعل? Where is the door? In every verb from the verbs بركة, غردت, ينبح, تحسن, أريد, تجتهد, نحب, عظم, نظف, Right? These verbs that we just under overlined. Right? Fakefa tujibuhu. Then how are you gonna answer him? Where is the file? Where is the file? So for instance, because this one's on my screen, right? Nadif hidaaka. If I said nadif Ya Muhammad, Hidaaka, we could say, okay, the file is Muhammad, right? But where is the file? Here, Nadhif. Where is the file in any of these sentences? How are we going to answer them? Ida ta'amalta, if you were to contemplate qalilan, a little bit, istata'ta al ijaba, you would be able to. Give the answer, right? لِأَنَّ فِي كُلِّ فِعْلٍ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَفْعَالِ ضَمِيرٍ هُوَ الْفَاعِلِ Because in every one of these verbs, from these every verb from these verbs is a ضَمِير, is a pronoun that is the فَاعِلِ لَكِنْ هُوَ لَكِنْ هَذَا الْضَمِيرِ La yudhar. But this yudhir, yudhir, not yudhar, yudhir. This damir, this pronoun is not apparent. Right? It does not show itself. Walidarika samma damiran mustatiran. Due to that, it is called a hidden damir, mustatir. Right? Like the word. Satr al aura, you cover up your aura, right? You cover up your aura, satr al aura, you hide it, right? Here, the mir mustatir, it's hidden. Fa ida nadarta il al fa'lain al madiyain wa huma baraka wa gharadat. If you look at the two past tense verbs and they are baraka wa gharadat, right? In examples one and two above, Ra'ayta 
أن الفائر دمير تقديره هو يعود على الجملة في فعل الأولى أول You will see that the file, that the doer is a damir taqdir is a pronoun taqdiruhu meaning it's given the estimate it's we're gonna say that, that it is huwa ya'udu ala jum ala jamal it returns to the jamal as a jumal returns to the jamal fi al fi'l al awwal so when we say al jamal I'm going to go up. I'm not, we'll go, I'll read it out. I'll go up after this. So in the first one, it's huwa. Wa taqdiruhu hiya ya'udu ala al-hamama fi fi'l al-thani. Wa la yakhruj taqdiru damir al-mustatir an hadhain fi kulli fi'l madhi. Okay. So now, and then we're going to go to our chart and we're going to look at it. Give me one second to scroll up. Okay. Al Jamal. Remember, is Al Jamal is it a noun or a verb? Al Jamal. Ism or fail. It's a is it's a noun. So this sentence is called a nominal sentence. Al Jumla Ismiya. Because it begins with a noun, right? And a jumla ismiya is made up of two parts. What are they? A noun and a well. Uh, well, yeah, noun, a verb, a subject of a verb. No, not necessarily a verb, because I could have Muhammad is a. Uh, I could have Muhammad is a. Uh, Muhammad Tabibun. Muhammad Tabibun. Muhammad's a doctor. There's no verb there, right? Muhammad Tabibu, there's no, it's made up of a Al Jumla Al Ismiya Al Ismiya is made up of a Mubtada and a Khabar Mubtada or Khabar A subject and a predicate Doesn't have to be a verb subject and a predicate right in English we have the verb is but that verb is doesn't necessarily exist in English at least not in a nominal sentence right it can exist in a present tense in a, in a verbal sentence but it can't exist it, it doesn't exist in a nominal sentence right we have can a yakunu that happens in a verbal sentence but there is no is, are, am in a nominal sentence. So, a juml a ismiya, which this obviously is, and as, as is number two, because they begin with nouns. They're made up of a mubtada and a khabar. And a jumla fi'liya. Al fi'liya. Is made up of a fail, a verb, and a file. Wrote that wrong. File. And it could have a mafulun b. Right? And it could have a mafulun b. But it's definitely got a fail and a file. Okay, so now let's look at this sentence. Al Jamal. Baraka. Tayyip. This is the Mubtada. And the Mubtada is always Marfu. Always Marfu. Right? Mubtada Marfu. Right? Now we need a khabar. Because every jumla ismiya has both of these. Right? So the the khabar we're gonna get to. Now we have 
baraka. Baraka is a verb. Right? Baraka is a verb. A khabar is always marfu'a. This is not marfu'a here. So what do we say? We say baraka is like another sentence. So it's like we have a sentence inside of a sentence. Because I could just say baraka. Can I say jalasa and that's a complete sentence? Yes. Why? Because the huwa is understood there. Right? So baraka is a another sentence here. Right? So we say this is a past tense verb. This is fil madi. Fil mad, right? Then, then it is mebni. Because if you remember, it's been a while since we talked about it. But fil, fil madi is mebni. It never ever changes, no matter what's in front of it. It's never going to be baraku, baraki. It's always going to be baraka. Right? Mebni ala fata. It's always going to have that there, right? Right? Now where's the file? Because the Jumla Fi'liya or, or the yeah, the Jumla Fi'liya always has to have the fail in the file. So the file is Hua. It's Damir Mustatir. Damir Mustatir. Whatever you know that's supposed to be, even though it's sloppy as it could be. Takdiruhu huwa. It's given the the that we're gonna <clears throat> its meaning or its evaluation is huwa, right? Marfu, because the file is always marfu, right? Now, all of this fill file, even if it was bigger. Even if it was longer, it had more stuff inside of it besides baraka, we would say fi mahal khabar mafu. Fi mahal khabar marfu. So this sentence here, no matter how many parts are in it, is in the condition of being the khabar marfu. So now we have our khabar here, right? Now all that's a little complicated, but the point is baraka. The file is not al jamil. Now technically we could say, well, the file is jamil. The jamil is, but the file never appears before the verb. Now we're getting, now we're getting a uh, 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 real. I could say technically you could say it, meaning you could not necessarily technically, because technically it's hua. But you could say, but the file is Jemel. I know that, even though it appears before the verb and so on and so forth. So here, Al Jemel is your Mubtada. Now you need a Khabar, which is, which is another sentence, right? Which is Baraka, right? That's another sentence, which is your file here. However, now you need now that you have a file i mean now that you got a fill you need a file every time you have a fill you need a file and your file here is hidden inside of here hua gharadat hamama gharadat same thing this is your mubtada marfu you need a khabar but that's your sentence here it's in mahal al khabar marfu Gharadat is a fa is a fail, so we need a fail. We it's a it's a verb. Now we need a doer of the verb. It's takdir, its estimation or its suggestion is hiya. Right? The pigeon she tweeted. The camel he sat. Right? That's the meaning here. Now an important part that he said, which makes this real easy, is that in past tense verbs, past tense verbs, you're never going to have a damir mustatir either hua or hia. Only those two. So let's look at past tense verbs real quick. Right? We have... That's, huh? That's a past tense verb. That's a past tense verb. 
Which one? America. Yeah, of course. Okay. Jalasa. He said a camel was sitting. Sitting was sitting. Yeah. It's past the tense. Yeah, or sat, okay. or sat. Okay. However you want to say okay. it. Okay, the camel sat. But that's that's the meaning of it. Yes. I was going to ask that. Right. Nah, um, I, I ain't gonna say it's a stupid question, but no, I ain't no stupid America. questions. Uh huh. America. Uh huh. Well, blessing. How you spell it? No. Okay. Got the elephant. Right. Okay. Okay. Jalasat. Jalasata. Right? Jalasna. Right? Jalasta. Jalastuma. Jalastum. Jalasti Jalas Tuma Jalas Tunna Right Jalas Tu and Jalas Na Okay, now, this is your past tense verb chart for simple form one verb. Here, your file is what in this one? Your file is mustatir, hua. Right? Hua. Your file in jalasa. The second one here is what? Sure, Aleph al Ithnain. Now I know it's two because of this Aleph. This Aleph is for Ithnain. Jalasu Wawal Jama. We had that last week. We went over all this last week talking about the different files in the or different when we talked about the the Ma'ir Mutasa when it's connected to a Fail. Right? When it's connected to a fail. It could be mafolum bihi. But if it's connected to a present tense or a past tense verb, it could be the file. Right? It could be the file. Right? So we have where's my paper? Jalasu. Your 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 the mirror and jalasu is the wow. Jalaset, where is it? It's Mustatir, here. Because this ta is not mutaharrika. Mutaharrika means it has a haraka on it. This dhamma, fatta, kasra, these are called haraka. Haraka means movement. Right? Haraka means movement. So when I see a jim, I say a, uh, I move. I say jim, j, I move. I say j or ju, I move. I say j. With a sukun on it, there's no movement. There's no movement there. J I stop, right? I stop. I don't have any movement. Right? So this is not a ta al mutaharrika on this one here. This is ta a tatneeth, showing it that it's a woman. The demir here is here mustatira. It's hidden inside of there, right? Here, here, where is the file? Where is the file in Jalasata? Alephith name. I know it's feminine. I know it's two. And it's feminine because of the ta tatneeth. Right? I know it's two and it's feminine because of the ta tatneeth. However, the file is the Alephith name. Here, Jalasna, noon and Niswa, the noon of the women. Jalasta, here's Ta al Mutaharika. Jalastuma, Ta al Mutaharika. Jalastum, Ta al Mutaharika. 
جلستی تا المتحرکه جلستما تا المتحرکه جلستونا تا المتحرکه رای جلستو تا المتحرکه جلسنا نا الفاعلين نا that's what they call it نا الفاعلين right those the noon the noon alif of the fa'il right only in past tense verbs هو and he are going to be مستطير only in those two so that's easy now the rest of these I got circled the ضمير right in a past tense verb Let's continue reading down below so we can make some sense out of the rest of them, inshallah. The audio is going to be there and we're going to go over it again more times, inshallah, in class when we're going to run into these pronouns. Now that we are going to talk about them, we can see them all the time. We can discuss them in class a little bit. And if you looked at the present tense verbs, al المضارع, Right, it says mudariya here because it's plural. Alati fil amthali al fil amthilati as sabiqa in the previous examples. Raita taqdir damir mustatir fi kulli fil yaktalaf bi bi ikhtilaf huruf al mudariya. Then you will see that the estimation of the hidden pronoun in every verb. Differs according to the differing of the the huruf al mudariya. The huruf al mudariya are ya, right? Ta, noon, and alif. So I say yajlisu, tajlisu, najlisu, ajlisu. I put all of those in front of jalasa. When I have a present tense verb, right? I have a present tense verb. I'm gonna say yajlisu, yajlisu, yajli san, yajlisu, yajli san, yajli suna. No, <coughs> don't have, don't uh, yeah ta. Known and the uh, don't they make it present tense? Yes, that's why they're called the huruf al mudariya, the present tense. Okay. Now, yajli su. So all these have a ya. Yajli su, yajli sani, yajli suna. We have tajli su. Right? Tajli su. She. Tajli su. Tajli sani. Right? Taj. Lisani Taj Lisna or Yaj Lisna rather Yaj Lisna Yaj Lisna and we have Taj Lisu you sit right Taj Lisu looks the exact same as above Taj Lisu Taj Lisani you're gonna know the difference by the context right Taj Lisani Taj Lisuna No. Tej. Tejli suna. Then you have Tejli sina. Right? Tejli sina. That's for you to a female. Tejli sina. Right? Then you have Tejlis. Tejli sani. And Tejlisna. Tej listener. Then we have Edgely Sue. Nedgely Sue. If we look at the beginning of all these, we never went outside of a ya or ta, a alif or noon. So they're called the huruf al mudaria. Ya, ta, alif, noon. Okay? الفاعل مستطر في المبدو بالياء the demir which is hidden in those which be in those which we begin with a ya مثل ينبح like الكلب ينبح 
the dog barks. Takdiruhu huwa. So if it begins with a ya, right? It begins with a ya. Takdiruhu huwa. Wafil mabdu bi ta at And those which begin with a ta at neath Right? Not every ta because some of the verbs are ta. Right? Uh, 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 and they're feminine, for instance, or they're masculine, such as, so they were talking about here, tajlis. This is hiya. But here, you have alaf al ithnain. Here, tajli sani. Here's wa'wa jama'a. Here is yajlis. This is huwa. This is hiya. But here we have noon and niswa again. Wa'wa jama'a. Right? Noon and Niswa. Alif Alif name. Right? Wawa Jamaa. Here's our files. Right? But here's the Ta Tatneef. Let's keep reading. Right? We film Abdu Bil Hamza Takdirahu Anna. So we go here. This is your Harf al Mudari'a. Your present tense letter, right? And the file is hidden. The file is hidden. Takdiruhu Anna. Right? Anna. Then we have. Well, Mabdu binun takdiruhu nahnu. So, though, like Najlisu. And it's equal to Nahnu. Right? Wafil Mabdu Bita al Mukhatab Takdiruhu Anta. And Ta here, we're talking about this one. This is Anta. Right? Anta. Now this Ya is the Ya al Mukhataba. That is your. File here. Ya al Mukhata. We talked about that last time. It would be good, and maybe next week we'll go over that all again with all of the lessons with all of the verb charts present, right? So we can look at them all like this. So then you got enter. Ta can also be enter depending on the context, right? Now we have either nadar to fil al amr, the al of command, right? عظم ونظف وجدت أن الفاعل دمير مستطر تقديره أنت دائما always right now he says this I'm going to make another chart here for the command right the command verbs we don't have any third person commands nor do we have any first person commands so we only have Second person commands. That's all that exists. You can't command someone who's not present and you don't command yourself. Right? So you say, Ijlis. Right? Ijlis. And you say, Ijlisa. If I'm talking to two. Right? Ijlisa. I say, Ijlisu. How we get there, we should already know this. And we're not going to talk about that right now. We've already talked about it before, about dropping our ta and whatever else we add, right? Or take away. Ijlis, Ijlisi. Right? Ijlisi. Ijlisa. Right? And Ijlisna. This is all you can do. Ijlisna. That's all you can do. That's the only command verbs that are possible. Now, when we look at this, here we see our file is the Aleph Elith name. Over here is the Nun and Niswa. Over here is the Wild Jama. So, what happens in, and here it's the Ya al Mukhataba. Here is the Ya al Mukhataba. So, the only one we don't have visible 
is an ijlis. And it's taqdeer, it's estimation, or it's whatever it's going, however you want to, I need to find a better word for that, is anta. The rest of them, out of al wa'awal jama'at, noon and niswa, ya al-mukhatabah. This is the only one that's hidden. This is the only one that's hidden, and it is anta. Right? Always, da'imen. Here's the Kawaiid, and then we'll go back up, and hopefully it's clear to us, right? And as I said, next week, inshallah, we'll go over all of them, looking at the rules one more time, so that we can see how we plug and play it. What we'll do is we'll have charts like these up there, past, present, and, and command, past, present, command, and then we'll just look at them with the rules, and we'll plug and play them as we read the chapter. Okay, al al Kawad for the Mustatir. al Damir al Mustatir, the hidden pronoun, huwa Damir al Tasara bil Fa'il. It is a pronoun which is connected to the Fa'il, to the verb, min ghayri an yadhara fil laf. But it is not pronounced, in, is, basically, it's not pronounced. You don't have the, 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 the Damir here pronounced, it's hidden inside. Adamir Mustatir fi fi'il madi taqdiruhu huwa o hiya. In a past tense verb, it's only going to be huwa or hiya. All the others, all the others, we can see them. If we look at this chart, we see alif nain wa al jama'a, alif nain nun and niswa, ta mutaharika, ta mutaharika, ta mutaharika, ta mutaharika, ta mutaharika. Ta'amutaharika, ta'amutaharika, na'al-fa'il. We see that. Only in Jalasa and Jalasat do we not see the fa'il. Right? And they are, the Damir here is, huwa hiya. Right? Huwa hiya. And the Damir mustatr fil mudari, the, the, the hidden pronoun in the mudari, yakhtalif taqdiruhu bi ikhtilaf huruf al mudari. Then it is, it is, the, in the present tense verb, then it differs according to the letters that are placed in front of it. So we have, what do we have? Ya for yajlis. Ta for tajlis. Ta for tajlis. Enter. Ta here is tajlis hiya. Right? We have a for ajlis. And we have noon for najlis. The rest of them... Ya Mukhataba, Alif al Ithnain, Wa'u Jama'a, Noon and Niswa, they're all there. Only in these five. Right? Are they Mustatir? Ya, Takdiruhu, Huwa. Ta here, Takdiruhu, Hiya. Ta here, Takdiruhu, Anta. A, Takdiruhu, Ana. Na, Takdiruhu, Nahnu. With the mere mustatir, the hidden, the hidden pronoun fi fil amr takdiruhu anta daimen. Then it is anta always in the command verb. So when we look at these six possible commands here, we have alif al ithnain ya al mukhataba noon and niswa wa al jamaa. The only one that does not have a demir that is present for us. Is enter. Hada, this is ijlis. The mere mustatir takdiruhu enter. Hidden pronoun, and it is, and it means enter. You sit. Right? Now, are there any questions about that? <laughs> So when we say Al Jamal Baraka, Al Jamal Baraka, where is the file? It's hidden. Huwa. Gharadat, hidden. Hiya. Yenbu. Yenbahu, not Yenbu. Yenbahu. Where's the file? Right? Where's the file? 
It's hidden. Yeah. Takdirahu. No, ya is the sign of it being huwa. But ya here is the present tense letter, right? This is the present tense letter letting you know the, the damir is mustatir huwa. It lets us know that it's huwa, but it's mustatir. Right? It's hidden inside of there. Al bint tuhsin al tabakh. Tabak is mafulun bi mansub. Tuhsin is a fil mudari. Where's the fire? It's not bent because bent came before it. If we said tuhsin al bent, then the bent would be the fire. It wouldn't be hidden anymore. It would be bent. You understand? Because it came afterwards. But since it comes before, then the sentence is different. And therefore, right? Uh, uh, it's not. So now, tuhsin. Because I can say, I can just scratch that out and say, Tuhsin al Tabakh. She, she excels or does good at cooking. I don't have to have al bint here. I can just say, Tuhsin al Tabakh. Right? So where is the, the mir here? Where is the fa'il here? We say, this is the ta, is the ta. This is harf mudariya. This is a present tense letter. Takdiruhu hiya. She's doing could it. You say, could you say yusinu? Yusinu for him if he does it. If okay. he's if yes. he is, then yes. You know what I'm saying without the bent, you know what you're saying. Tusinu, you know. If I say yusinu, then it means the boy or the guy. Okay. And okay. that ya, yeah, if I said yusin. If I said that, right, then it's going to be the same as yenbahu, right? Meaning the ya is the harf mudariya. That's letting us know that this is a this is the present tense verb, and this takdiruhu. Where's the file? Hua. Mustatir takdiruhu hua. Ta tuhsin takdiruhu hia. Now, if I'm talking to you, saying you do good at cooking, then this task, and that's by context, then this takdir is going to be enta, if I meant you, without having a bent there, right? And I said, Abdullah, tuhsin al-tabakh, you do good at cooking, you excel at cooking. The tuh, the ta here, where's the file in tuhsin, means takdiruhu enta. It's hidden, damir mustatir, Takdirhu enta. Uridu. The context. context, right. Uridu. This alif is called the alif, the harf mudariya. Where's the file? This lets us know it points to what the file is, but it's not the file. It's mustatir. Damir mustatir. Takdirhu ana. Ana urid. Entaj tahid. Here. Right. I want that she does well, could be, or it could be, I want that you do well, or you you work hard. I want that she works hard, or I want that you work hard. This ta could be this, or it could be that, depending on the context. Takdiruhu, hiya, or enta, depending on the context. Same as down here. Innana nuhibbu, right, nuhib. This noon lets us know what the file is going to be, but it's actually mustatir. Takdiruhu nahnu. Right? Nahnu. I know that's written real sloppy. Nahnu. Avim. Avim al kabir. Right? Respect the older elders. Right? Avim. Who am I talking to? Enta. Takdamir mustatir takdiruhu. Enter. This is a command. Nadhif hidha'aka. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to you. Takdiruhu enter. I can't be talking to anybody else. Me and you in the room, I say nadhif hidha'aka. Who am I talking to? Nobody but you. Right? I can say nadhifu. Uh, uh, I can say nadhifu to a bunch of you guys. Right? Let me write it up here. I can say nothing fool to a bunch of you guys, 
And now the wow jamaat is there. Right? To two of you. And now the elephant's name is there. Right? I can say to a female. And now the ya muqatiba is there. But if none of that's there, such as an adhim and nadhif, then it can only be enta. That's who your file is. Mustatir. The mere mustatir. Taqdiruhu. Enta. Inside of the commands. Simple, the, right? The nadhif. The, the uh-huh. Why she say it's got to be enta? Because it, with the sukun? No. Because, let me, let me add a minute here. Let me add five minutes because... Because if we write this again, and we don't have to do third person and first person, we have nadhif. Because that's all it, we have nadhif. We're talking to a person. This comes from to nadhifu. To nadhifu. Right? To nadhifu. That's the enter to nadhifu. This is you clean. Right now, I want to make it a command. This is just an act. This is a fact here. To nothing, fool. You're cleaning. Are you clean? That's a fact. You understand? Now, I want to make it a command. You clean. You do it. Clean it. What do I have to do? I drop my top. I don't need to add an elf here because, like, I do an edge list because Tejli Su. It has a sukun on there. So when I drop my ta, I need to add an elef. Here I don't have to do that because my noon already has a vowel on it. Right? And then I just take my dhamma and turn it into a sukun. Nadhif. Right? Nadhif. Nadhifa. Nadhifa. Nadhifu. Nadhifu. Then you have Nadhifi. Because it was to Nadhifina. But when I made it, instead of making a sukun on the fiend, no, I dropped my noon. That's, that's, that's what I did. That's my sign of it being medzum. It's hadhifa noon. Nadhifi. Right? Nadhifa. Same thing again. Nadhifi. Fa and Nadhifna. It doesn't change. Nadhifna. This is Mebni. This this is Mebni. It never ever changes from Nadhifna. It's always going to have that noon in this with it. Right? So now, when I look at these examples here, here I have a wild Jamaat, noon in this one, out of al and Ya al Mukhataba. So the only one that doesn't have anything is nadhif. It can't be anything else. So when I look at my example of nadhif, it's not nadhifa, nadhifu, nadhifi, nadhifa, nadhifna. It's nadhif. It can only be you. That's the conjugation of the word. Nadhif is you. But you got to know how to conjugate these verbs here to this point. So that you can understand that, Abdullah. That's why I've been telling you for the last year and a half, man. When I sent you a chart a year and a half ago. You understand? <laughs> you got to learn this. Because Nadhifi is anti. Nadhifa is you too. Nadhifa is you too. Nadhifu is you group of people. Nadhifna is you group of females right but if you can conjugate these and we don't have a third person and we don't have a first person we only got second person when it comes to commands and the only one that is taqdir the only one that is mustatir the only one that is mustatir and the command verb is enter when it comes to the present tense verb those that are mustatir are yajlis for huwa, tajlis for hiya, tajlis for enta, ajlis for ana, and najlis for nahnu. The rest of them, they all appear. And we talked about those the last two weeks. Right? 
When it comes to a past tense verb, they all appear except jalasa, the mere mustatir takdiruhu huwa. Jalasat, the mere mustatir takdiruhu hiya. Right? But here, jalasa. This is your Demir. Alif al name. Alif al name. Ta mutaharika. Noon and niswa. Wa wa jama'a. Na al fa'ileen. Right? So, so, so it's really easy. The only ones that are mustatir in the past tense, hu and hiya. Present tense, yajlis, tajlis, tajlis, ajlis, najlis. The rest of them are not mustatir. Those five are mustatir. Right? And then when it comes to the command, the only one is nothing. So basically, if we say we got six commands and 14, 14 present and 14 past, that means we got 34 verbs. 34 verbs, right? And the only ones that are mustatir are eight. So you got 26 which are not mustatir, 8 which are. Now what's the beauty of this Abdullah? Because now when I, why should you know to, to do this chart? Why? Not the mustatir and all that, the file and, and all the mire here. Why? Because with this chart, I give you a new verb. Yenbah. Yenbahu. That's a new verb for you today. Right? All I got to do is learn the past tense. Is it nabaha, nabuha, or nabiha? That's all I got to learn. I got to figure that out. Is it nabaha, nabuha, or nabiha? It can only be one of those three. I need to figure that out. And once I figure that out, I can make this chart. And you know what that makes me able to do? I, I now got 34 words when I learn this one right here. And I say I figure out this one. I figure out the proper way. Is it nabaha, nabuha, nabiha? Now, once I figure out that too, I now got 34 words. And then I can figure out how to do the masdar. How I can do the... The ismu makan, the ismu zaman. I can do uh, uh, the noun that goes with it. I can go, you understand? Now I've learned almost 40 words by learning one word. You understand? So when you learn this chart, you multiply your vocabulary by more than 30 words every time you learn a new word. So you see the benefit in taking time to sit and memorize this chart? It's going to it's going to increase your vocabulary by 30 times every time you learn a new word. Every time you learn a new word, your vocabulary is going to grow 30 times. I didn't learn one, I learned 35 new words. When I learned one new word because I learned all the conjugations Past, present, and command, and then I learned the masdar, and then I learned the ism of man, ism of makan, and I learned this, this now, this now. Now I got 30 some words, man. So go and learn this chart, brother. Inshallah, next week we're going to review the, the ma'ir all together by reading all the kawaid and everything with these three charts put together. We'll already, I'll already have them written out, be in the ta'ala. And then we'll just go and plug and play as we read these lessons from the Damaya. Tayyip? Inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow with Al Arbain and Nawiyah. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu wa la ilaha 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 ilaha